Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Marvelous Designer to design any of the new cloth for your Character Creator Force, your CC4. I'm going to show you step by step. You can become a new tailor to design your own cloth by using the Marvelous Designer. Alright, first, in your Character Creator 4, the first step, what you're going to do is click the modify load load the neutral base this is the first step now it is loading we have to wait for a while right now this is the neutral base the next step what you're going to do is just go to here to select the animations to make make him become a t-post under the post Calibration. Double click the T pose to apply the T pose. This is the first step. Right. Once you already have the T pose, right. The next step, you have to ex export the OBZ without material. As demo, I'm going to export it on my desktop. So I will click File, Export, OBZ. Character with current post. This is the T post. With the current post, do not export the material. Just click OK. And here I'm going to create a new folder. This is the step one, step zero one. So I copy the folder destination location, Control C, and then paste it here, Control V, and press Enter. The file name, I'm going to name this as cc4, so cc base t post. Right, this is just an obj file, I click save. Now, if you open, you should be able to see the obj file already exported under the step one folder. Right, this is the obj. Next, the next step, you are going to load the obj in Marvelous Designer then design a cloth. So this is the marvelous designer that I already opened. Click file, import the OBZ. The OBZ file is on my desktop, the step 01 folder, the CC base tipos OBZ. You double click it. And then always remember the scale, you must choose the CM, the day studio, right? This is very important. Then click OK. Then click OK. Now you can see this is a reference. And then this is the 3D. Right, I'm going to do a demo how to create a cloth. And then after that, how to make and design a new cloth, then import into the blender. And then after that, from the blender, you are going to use, you are going to unwrap, unwrap all the UV, etc. Next, finally, you will be used to the, you will import the FBX into the CC4. So now this is just, just the step zero two. You are going to design a cloth. Right. First, I, I will click here to create a polygon. And you can see this is the reference shape. And so I'm going to create polygons. Right, let's say here. I'm going to create a shirt. As demo, I'm I'm just make it as simple as possible, like this. Of course, I can make it longer, like this, if I want. Just make make it in balance. It's okay. Now you can see. This is just a piece of the mesh. And next, I'm going to copy this. So before you copy, you have to click here to make it select. So right click copy, 
next right click paste mirror this is called mirror paste then i'm going to paste it here paste it here first and then drag it away now this is the mirror the mirror mesh we are going to click here and then drag it to behind then rotate it like this in this way now you can see it is it is in that way so make it mirror this is just a, a very simple shirt and the next step we are going to seal it and you can see this is behind now this is behind so next in order to seal it before that you have to move this point because of this is behind we don't want to have an edge right here so i will click to edit the patterns next click this point drag this point up to balance it right now so this is a mistake this is behind this is the front So now it's okay. So we just make this at the front. You have to make sure you drag the correct mesh. This is behind. Like this. And also make sure it is fit to the shape. Fit to the shape. And you can always seal, seal first. This is the correct one. All right now you can see like that. So next, I'm going to click seal, the sealing, free sealing. The first step, seal here, here. Next correspond to this side and that side now done next is from here to here so select in the reverse way like this to make it cross now then the bottom part click here to here then from here to another side if like that then this is a mistake so from here to here then here to here to make it it is cross next part is here so done and then finally this part to here this part to here okay wrong already just press ctrl z do it here to here then from here to here now done so this side from here to here this point to that point done once done already this is the step zero two before you do any simulations you can just set it as a backup right so now i'm going to create a step zero two folder right click new folder step zero two so i'm going to save the marvelous designer project this one click file save as project save inside this folder as backup Control c to copy the destination then click here Control d to paste and press enter and I'm going to name this as shirt01. Right. This is just the project file.
Now, it is already saved. And next, click here to simulate. Now, you can see here something wrong. So, Control Z to undo it. Then, to avoid this problem, then I will just try to adjust adjust this cloth to make it easier, to make it nearer. Alright, now I try again to simulate. It is better than just now. You can see it is better. Is there any collision? Collision of the mesh? Maybe here. Now we can actually try again. Control Z. Click to make it higher. Make it higher. Then try again. This is not at the center. So move to the center a little bit. This one. Then try. So once you feel satisfied already, for this side, it is longer because of I purposely make this longer. Actually, you, you can just make it anytime. You can remake it anytime if you want. Just for example, if I press Ctrl Z to undo, then I adjust this part. Wait. Ctrl Z. To adjust it, you have to click here, Edit Patterns. Then I edit this point. To make it smaller, then it will become smaller. Then I can simulate it again. Simulate. Now it will become smaller. So Control Z. Of course, I can make it really big like this. It is okay. Now try. It is up to you to do all these adjustments. Once you feel satisfied already, then the first thing what you are going to do is click here. Click the first mesh, click all the mesh. Click and then you hold the control, click another one. Next, you are going to export it out. Export this mesh. Click file, export the OBZ. I'm going to export inside the step 02 folder. Control C to copy the folder destination location. And click here, Control V to paste, and press enter. The file name, I'm going to name this as shirt01. Save. Now, it is going to give me an, an option. For this part, do not export any of the UV. We no need this. Then, the scale, we export it as CM. This is very important and click OK. After that, it will become an OBZ file. If you double click the OBZ file, if you can see the character, that means some, some mistake already there. So this is just a mistake. Delete it again and also delete the MPL. Again, click File, Export. Just the selected part because now only this selected. Click File, Export. OBZ selected. We only want the shirt mesh. So again, un under the step 01, shirt 01. Press enter. Then we don't want the UV. Click OK. Now, double click the OBZ and check first. It's the first step. For this one, it is correct. Correct already. Then we are going to next next part. This one, you can just use Ctrl Z to save again. And then you can close the marvelous designer already. Now we are coming to the step 03. Open the blender. 
Okay, for this time, I not yet installed the Blender. I'm going to download and install the Blender. Just very easy to install the Blender. First, I download the Blender. All right. Then after that, install the Blender in your computer. This is just a free software. Next. Install the Blender. All right, finish. Now I already have the Blender, continue to the step 03. First open a step 03 folder. Before that, of course, you can always start Blender. Inside the step 03, import, import the cloth mesh into Blender. The first thing, click here and press a to select all and press delete button to delete everything from the blender and then next we are going to import this obz click file import the wavefront obz it is on my desktop step step zero two i can just copy the folder location and click here Control v press enter the obz this is the one now now you can see this mesh already imported into Blender. And then, in this step, we are going to unwrap the UV and also export the UV layout PNG. This is under the step 03. So click UV editing. And next, you can see it already selected, selected all the vertex. If you accidentally click at the side, then you are very difficult to select everything. So if this happens, what you are going to do is just drag this here so that you, you, should, you can see this, the viewport shading, click into that. And then now you can select all, it all will get selected. Click the UV and click unwrap, unwrap now. So at this moment, you can see this is, after you, you unwrap, it will become like this. It will make your life easier now. So now select at this part like this. Then click here, rotate to make a rotation like this. All right, then click here, make it up and press S to resize it so that it fit into this square. Now once done already, next what you are going to do is, you still have to select everything. And the next step, refer to my tutorial summary, export the UV layout PNG. So before that, you have to open a step 03 folder. Close the folder 02 and create a new folder. Delete the Blender shortcuts. Right click new folder step 03. All right now, double click. Next, at here, once you already selected everything, then click UV, export UV layout, export it at here, copy the destination location, control C to copy, then click here, control V, press enter. Now, this is the shirt01.png. We are going to name this as shirt01 UV layout. Then click export UV layout. You can see now it become a PNG file like this with transparent. Next, what we are going to do is right click. Wait. If you refer to my notes here, the next step is create a texture sample PNG. To create a texture sample, we are going to base on the layout 
we right click to open with the paint. Now this is the UV layout. So next what we are going to do, just to save as, click file, save as, inside this folder, control C, click here, control V, press enter. It will enter this folder. The file name, we are going to name this as shirt01 sample texture. Right, save. Click yes. Now you will have this, the shirt01 sample texture. That means this is the texture that you are going to edit on that. You can color on that. If you color the red color here, it will become the red color. It is really simple. And then, actually, you have to check back here. All right, this is the front. If, if I select the front part, so this is the front. So here, I'm going to text put a text here and where is the front the upper the upper one is the front so this is the front so here this is the back Just, just make it simple in this way. Then save again, close. Now you can see your sample texture, you have the front and the back. You can use any of the image editing software, the picture editing software to create any of the shirt texture. And this is just a demo, so I will show you in that way. This is the sample texture. The next part, import the texture to Blender. So before that, you have to make sure you drag this. You can see this viewport shading, click it. And now you can just see, this is just blank. What you are going to do to import. To import the texture to Blender, you have to click here. Base color, you click this, this dot. Click on that, then choose image texture. Then click open. Open, I open from my desktop, step 03. Open the sample texture. Double click to open. Now you can see, you can see this is this is the texture that already apply. This is really the texture, and some more actually you can have the texture paint up here as well. It's really simple. And of course, you can just direct use the Photoshop uh, or any of the paint, painting software, any of the picture editing software to edit this. This is just a demo. So I'm going to just do some demo here. You can see I can change or I can just direct sketch here. It's okay. Now, of course, after you're done ready, this blender, this blender file, I'm going to save it as a backup. Control Shift S to save as a backup inside the step 03 folder. Control C to copy the folder destination location and click here. Control V, press enter. The blender file name, I'm going to name this as shirt01. Save as. Now, and then, finally, export the FBX from Blender. So, to export the FBX, you just need to click here, File, Export, FBX. Right, the setting here is very important, the path mode. You have to choose copy so that it will embed, it will embed the texture. And you have to click here to make sure here is copy and here is highlighted. This will embed the texture inside the FBX file. And then the scale you have you have to change it to become 0 0.01. 
in order to fit to the scale of the mesh of the character creator for to export. Now this is the FBX file. If you double click to check the FBX file, you can see now it is really a mesh like this. All right. And then this one's actually you not yet save, but it's okay. We don't need that as well. Okay, you can click image then save as or just save. And then after that, you can just click image. Then after that, you can just export it out image. Save as. Then you may save inside inside the step 03 the sample texture 02 save the image as so that you will have this version as well now this is a sample texture this is another one the sample texture 02 all right so if you already save it then just now before you save it you export then the FBX bar will not have any of the sketching yet. Alright, for this time, if you click here to export again, click File, Export the FBX, export inside the same folder, name it as Shirt02, and click Export. So here is copy, here is highlighted 0 0.01. Always double check and click Export FBX. Now, you check your Shirt02. Double click. Now this one already have your sketching at there. The three D. Close it. The shirt zero ones. This one don't have. All right, we already done this part. That means the three D modeling of the of the shirt already done. Click file save. Save the blender. And close. Now we, we look at the next step. The step zero four. Import the FBX into CC four. Your CC four already open at there. So what you are going to do, right? Import the FBX to CC4, transfer the skin weight, save as a CC curve. It is really simple. So you can see in your step 03 folder, you already have the shirt 01 and shirt 02. Let's say if I choose the shirt 02, in my CC, I'm going to click create. The first step is create accessory. Then load from step 03 folder, copy the folder destination location and click here control V, press enter, it will enter. Then now I have the shirt 02 FBX. Double click it. It is going to load inside. Now you can see it is exactly load inside the CC4 already. Now so what we are going to do is just click here, transfer the skin weight, and then Choose the default is okay because this is just a normal shirt. Click apply. Close. Done. Now this one already become a, a CC shirt, do you believe? So before that, you just need to go to here, go to the custom and save this as a CC cloth. Under the custom, under the shirt, click save. Then the file name I'm going to name this as a shirt zero one. Uh, this is shirt zero two. Sorry, then I click okay. Now you right click and find the file. You will see that actually. Okay, we'll open with the file explorer. This is a CC cloth that I just saved. Right click view with the large icon. Right click view with the extra large icon. This is the CC cloth. And then if you apply any of the morph here, just for example the body morph. If I go to the full full body and neutral female for example, you can see it will automatic automatic fit to the morph base female. And if I apply any of the animations or if I make it become a male, it's okay. It will automatic fit. This is a male, a neutral male. It will fit. Right. 
what about if I create some animations? I click here. Or I change the post. It should be under the template post, the mail post. And now you can see some of the penetration. If happens, you can just come to here. Then double click the cloth. Press Q and double click the cloth. Click edit the mesh. Click the scalp. This is to make it out. Intensity and the radius. You can always do it in, in that way. Remove the penetration. Right. So under the calibrations, the calibration post, and also the checking post, you can just put a few, for example, this post, to check is there any of the penetrations. If yes, then just scalp it. If done already, then you can save it again. No penetration here, just a little bit. Scalp, press Q. Right. To make everything perfect, just do it in this way. Done. Then of course, after done already, then you can just make it become the T-Post again and save again. Back to the calibration, the T-Post. Then, back to the custom, cloth, the shirt. You can delete this because this one is not yet edited. You click override, it's okay. Then just replace it. So next time, if you have other actor, for example, if you open your character creator for you don't save this, you will just save it as a CC cloth. If you open other avatar, if, if it's at here, another project, the actor, the character, the template, character, cloth, for example, CC3. Or, for example, Camilla once or Kelvin. You can just change a new cloth for them. Now I'm going to, to load Camilla. Right now, Camilla already loaded. And then I can find back my sh my custom shirt just now. Under the cloth, the shirt. This is the shirt zero two. I can just double click it. It will apply. And then I can just just select the Camilla's cloth and just delete it. Now you can see some penetration still occur here. Just go to just select it first and edit mesh again. Scalp it just to pull out the mesh to make it perfect. For this part, you can just just push it down or pull it out. I say if I want to push it down, I can just press Q. Wait, click edit mesh. This one, of course, I can click the conform also, calculate the collision. It will automatic make, make some corrections. And if this one happens, if you want this shirt to be tied in, then you can just double click this shirt. Then edit the mesh. Scott to push it, to push it in. This is really simple. Just to push it in. Then it will become perfect. Now done. Here, and push it in. Done. To make make everything tight, tuck in, tuck in the shirt. Done. All right. Then that's all for today about how to use the marvelous designer to design your new clothes, become a new tailor design any of your, your cloth, any of your pants, any of your CC cloth for your character creator for you make it by yourself and you can create your own CC cloth content. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorial are very helpful to your 3D animations, 3D modeling and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all. So that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, 
you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy, happy animation and game developing. See you.